<laughs> Hello, this is Tom from Tom and Ruth Healthy. No, Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle. I'm going cuckoo today. <clears throat> Remember that uh, commercial cuckoo for co uh, Cocoa Puffs? Yeah, I'm going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Today we're going to talk about healthy lifestyle. You know, <clears throat> I'll attach a video in here, a video, I'll attach a link in here. Uh, and I've talked about this. I mean, a lot of things in life is common sense. But sometimes if you reenact, if you think about it and go a little bit more in detail about things and you start realizing, oh, yeah, it does matter. A study, a recent study uh, did by the CDC uh, and Healthy Lifestyle. There's a Healthy Lifestyle magazine. They did a story in talking about disease, health, sickness, and then on the board itself, there was uh, 390,000 participants in this particular study. And the study gave people an idea on what could increase someone's life and how long could they live for if they start doing certain things, eating right, uh, walking, exercise. Uh, what kind of things can actually increase someone's life? And I found this really interesting. And reading this study, uh, the study itself shows that walking 10,000 steps a day, a simple task by walking 10,000 steps a day, can increase your life. It can actually, 50% of the people that took the took the walking exercise, 10,000 steps a day. You can do eight, you can do six, but 10,000 steps a day or more, the people that were sick in the study become healthy. Diabetes, the di diabetes disappeared. They lost weight. Some participants lost weight so much that they could not believe. And it's all about walking. It's like common sense tells you that if you walk, you're going to lose weight. Now, I think a lot of times, too, we sometimes don't walk because maybe the environment you're in, you can't walk. Maybe, like where I'm in right now, I can't really go anywhere because the environment around me uh, is safety is an issue. So I have to, what I need to do is start walking on a regular basis. And so what I started doing, I'm walking in place. I'm walking in place. And walking in place is hard. And 2,000 steps, you can't do it because you lift your legs higher than you normally would walk because mainly you're just scooting your legs along, right, walking. But I'm learning I'm getting some type of exercise somehow. Moving around, you know, moving my body into a fact is that to, to help get that heart going. I'm not running up down the stairs because you can break your neck where I those stairs I have. Because they're uh, they're great, and fantastic, but run upstairs, and downstairs, not a thing for me to do at 67 years old. But I can walk, and I can do things in my yard, and I can exercise. So walking is such a big factor in your health that it will cause you not only to feel better, you'll you'll have better performance, your heart rate goes up, and it helps with the hypertension, the stress that you have. The things that's gotten you down, maybe that's maybe bugging you, it relieves a lot of things. It, it clears out your mind to give you a fresher start. Now, they said whether you do 10,000 steps, like 2,000 in the morning, 2,000 at lunch, 2,000 in the evening, but they said 10,000 steps is, the, is a good key. But if you're getting in 2,000 steps, that's fantastic because you got to start somewhere. If you can't walk, maybe you can walk circles around your driveway. That's what I started doing, just circles around the yard. Circles around the yard. I mean, the neighbors staring at me this morning think I was cuckoo. But you have to you have to really think about those things. You have to really think about when you're walking around, walking around, walking around. You want to make sure that you're getting that heart going and getting that fresh air. A doctor, my doctor told me that the way the calves of your legs work is that oxygen that you're moving those legs and your calves brings that oxygen really all the way up into your body. And it helps you when you breathe and take your deep breaths. He said it just it helps your lungs, 
And before you know it, you're losing weight because you're active. Now, they said, like, for the last, you know, 300 steps or 500 steps, speed it up. Speed it up. Say you're, you're on the way home. You almost made it home. Speed it up a little bit. Walk a little faster. And do that a little while. And he said, you'll, you'll start eliminating some of that fat that you didn't think that you had. You'll start eliminating coming off your body. And I, I have to tell you, it does. Walking does work. Walking exercise does work. A lot of people don't realize how important that is. And I've started to realize it. I've never had to exercise in my life. Never. I've never had to. Uh, I'm not an exercise guy. I'm not the guy. I'm going down to the gym. I'm going to work out a while. I'm not one of those guys. I don't like the gym. I don't like going to the gym. I don't like working out. I'm just not one of those guys. But I was active person in life. I would easily get 10,000 steps a day. I'd hate to even see. Well, on the average, when I got my pedometer and um, when I was working, it was the average that I was walking 10 to 14 miles a day. And so I didn't need it. And I had I was lifting boxes and I was always moving and I was always doing stuff. So I was wore out from being tired. And I was sore a lot of times because I'm, you know, doing muscles and stuff. I'm loading a truck, you know. So you find yourself that that, and when I came here, it's like, oh, boy, I need to exercise because all that dis all that muscle I had disappeared and turned to fat. And can it turn to fat? Well, I can, the one muscle you had in your arm, like, oh, man, I steel. Well, it's not steel anymore. I mean, look at it. It's all like mush. So... I said, okay, I got, I got to straighten that up. And I don't want no slinging arms here, flabbing around, flipping around. I don't want that. So I need to start doing more stuff, and I'm going to start doing it. I want to live longer. <clears throat> we all do. So walking is the key. It's not running. It's not bicycling. It's not, uh, it is, but if you get out and do something, it's worth it. But I'm saying a simple thing like walking. Uh, my mother always said, plenty of water and walking. My mother used to walk. I said, Mom, you're crazy. And she used to walk all the time. When she lived up into her 80s, late 80s, in fact, 88, 89. Shout out, my dad did too, 88, 89. So uh, they could have lived longer. They just gave up. My dad could have lived another 10 years. He was, kinda, he was tired. I don't know what he's tired of. He said, I'm just tired of life. I said, are you just tired? He said, yeah, I'm not going well, to do anything. So he just basically went from here down, 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 down. He's just tired of life. I, I know he can live nothing. He didn't have no ailments. Smoked 45 years. Lungs was fine. Go figure, right? He smoked for 45 years. It started when he was 12. Lungs were fine. Oh, he had some problems, but he didn't have anything that was deter his health. My mother smoked too, but it did, uh, bronchitis got hurt. But my father could keep walking, walking. He was, he was like me. He, I was like him. He was always, he always walked. Everywhere he went, he would walk. He was in retail, so that's what he did. God bless everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Healthy Lifestyle. We appreciate it. See you guys next time.